So here is a uh, intro I described from Pasquale Grasso that he plays in front of the tune A Small Hotel, which is a beautiful tune. Um, it's a swing tune in E flat, or he plays in E flat in that video with a with a singer, and he plays a very uh, actually a very simple intro, but it's a cool intro. I think it would be nice to learn. You can play it in front of tunes in E flat, D, E, F, bunch of tunes. So let's check it out. Let's watch it twice. <laughs> Short and sweet. Let's do it watch more time. There's a small hotel. Okay. I have tap. If you look at the chords, I wrote down what is happening harmonically. So basically what you get if we disregard the first uh, slash chord, it says F minor with a B flat, it's just F minor, right? So in the key of E flat, F minor seven, we just learned that second degree, F minor seven. So basically, if I would just play rhythm for uh, the intro, what's happening is this, F minor for two bars, and then B flat seven, and then F minor, B seven, F minor, B flat seven, E flat, and then we get, so that would be an E flat with a G in the bass. And then it's flat three diminished. Five, one. So it's very basic. I'll, I'll play it again without talking. It's as basic as you can get for an intro. It, I mean, you could just play this as an intro. Of course, Pascale Grasso has some tricks to make it nicer. So he plays that first chord with the B flat in the bass. So it sounds a little bit like a B flat sus, but listen, because there is no uh, E flat in it. If we would want to play B flat sus, we need to have an E flat, but he's just playing F minor triad. So then we just would have to write F minor with the B flat. And that B flat is called the pedal point because it keeps ringing under all the chords. So imagine the drone just playing a B flat. And on top, you'll be playing those. So a drone like that, we would call a pedal point. <clears throat> and um, he's making it a rhythmical pedal point. So we get. Then he's doing the same thing, but instead of um, repeating that bass note, he, he's making the repeating notes the chord. Right there. If he would have done the same thing twice, he would play it like this. To make it interesting, the second time he's, he's not doing, he's doing. Uh, by the way, this chord is a B flat seven uh, flat thirteen because of this F sharp here. He could have also made that chord four strings with a B flat on top, but he's staying on those middle strings, which I really like. So again, three, four. Important not to rush that rhythm, that uh, B flat on the one end and on the two end, don't rush that two end note, because if you imagine a swing rhythm, dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, that note is pretty late, right? It's not a, don't fall forward with that second B flat. There again, really make a swing. Da, 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 don't play, da, da, da. And now we uh, interchange between the two chords. And that's the most difficult thing about this intro is where you have to do... The jump is just tricky because you got this chord and then you have to uh, move your first finger from the uh, D string to the G string on the third fret and then you have to play one, three, and then you have to move that third finger from the G string to the D string, same fret. 
but you only have a eighth note for it. It's just tricky to do. I I tried playing it like this, one four. But I don't find that much easier. So you just have to focus really on this part. Practice that until you got it clean. And with good swing timing. Three, four, one. Four, one. Always if you have a difficult thing, just loop it. Loop it, take a metronome and keep looping it. Three, four, uh. Two, mm. With the metronome, right? And then uh, practice the jump. So one, two, uh, where does it start? And it would start on the three three end now on the three so one two 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 one two be very try to have this e flat chord clean three one two and my rule is and if i can do it three times or five times in a row without mistake I can play it. So let's see if we can make it three times. One, two. Yeah, I was happy with that. So now let's play the second system. Three, four. So as soon as I'm here, I go in the modus of like, I practice that part. So I, I focus on it, I know I can do it. <clears throat> and then we get... That's also pretty tricky. We got this E flat with the G in the bass. Then we have to play F sharp diminished. And then we have to hit this E flat here. Going to F minor seven. That's just a big, big jumps. With a high chance of missing that E flat and playing an A flat like I just did. So again, you want to practice that slowly and loop the first two chords. I loop the second two chords. Three, four. Uh, where does it start? One, two. On the on beat three. One, two. I try to be very conscious of of the strings I have to hit with my pick. So I did it three times. Was okay. Now let's do the whole bar. So three, four, one. Three, four, one. Three, four, one. And then you speed it up. That's the way you, how you practice these kind of things. Because I've seen a lot of people practice very sloppily during workshop weeks, right? I teach them something and I hear them playing very fast, full of mistakes. And uh, that's not the way you practice. You you isolate difficult parts and you loop it with a metronome. So I'm not using a metronome right now because I forgot to bring my little speaker for the metronome. But in real life, outside the stream, I would practice it like that. Actually, I have practiced it like that. And you have to repeat it a couple of times on a couple of days to really get it in your fingers. But you will see it if you practice like this and you repeat it a couple of times, maybe you have to do it like three days and then the next week you have to do it again. At one point, it will feel very easy because you're training your hands to make these movements. Let's go on. We have... So this is also tricky because you have to play an A-flat triad. You have to divide it into first the first two notes and then the third note. So you play the root and the third and then the fifth. Rhythmically, so three, four, one. So uh, I would recommend playing the first two notes as a rest stroke, then put your pick on the B string and then in time play that E-flat. So don't retake your pick, don't do. No, do. Four, one. Four, one. The trick to excellence, or the key to excellence is precision. <laughs> I'm making it up right now, but it sounds good. But if you want to be an excellent player with excellent sound, you need to be very precise. And you need to practice on this precision. You cannot be sloppy about that. So let's play the whole thing. One, two, three, four. <laughs> You see, there's my weakness when I go from 
So I didn't practice that uh, jump very well. I have to practice that jump. So we do three, one, two, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. four. Let's play a little bit before. Three, four, one. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's play it again, the whole intro. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Sound, sound good. Um, uh, did you go through picking motions? It's all down. Uh, there's an upstroke, so that C is up. All down. There's only one upstroke. It's the C in the second system in the third bar. Is it the third bar? Second bar. Second bar, that C is uh, all up. It's a cool intro. You can play it in um, many keys. You can play it in, in F. Uh, So you, you can see like in, in F, I make some mistakes because now I have to get used to the different frets, but it's just a matter of practicing that will go quickly. Okay, that was uh, the Pasquale Grosso thing. I think that will be make a nice YouTube video.